Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss the community medicine formulas. So first of all, we'll make a two by two table. Here we have the screening test, and here we'll or the gold standard test. So those who test positive on both the tests are true positive. They actually have the disease. If they are positive on screening but negative on gold standard, so they are false positive. They didn't have the disease. and negative on screening and positive on gold standard is false negative they had the disease but screening test showed them negative and negative on both are actually true negative they didn't have the disease so now let's talk about sensitivity so what is sensitivity sensitivity is ability of screening test to identify correctly all those who have the disease मतलब स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट उन लोगों को आइडेंटिफाई कर पाए करेक्टली जिनको डिजीज है तो एक्चुअल में डिजीज थी इनको एंड स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट आइडेंटिफाइड जस्ट दीज वन टेस्टेड पॉजिटिव सो वॉट विल बी दी फॉर्मूला स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट फॉर्म सेंसिटिविटी फॉर्मूला विल बी ट्रू पॉजिटिव अपॉन ट्रू पॉजिटिव प्लस फॉल्स नेगेटिव सो दिस विल बी दी फॉर्मूला फॉर सेंसिटिविटी For a screening test, they should have a high sensitivity, and for gold standard, they should have a high specificity. Now let's talk about specificity. So what is specificity? It is ability to identify correctly all those who don't have the disease. So disease kin ko nahi thi, these one, and a uh, screening test identified only. tested negative for this so the formula for specificity will be true negative upon false positive plus true negative so a quick mnemonic to remember sensitivity and specificity will be this is sensitivity this is specificity so true positive true negative p and n will stay together so sensitivity identifies true positive and specificity identifies true negative now let's talk about positive predictive value and negative predictive value so what is positive predictive value ki ability of screening test to correctly identify all those who have the disease out of those who tested positive on screening test so what will be the formula all those who tested positive were true positive plus false positive but in act reality who had the disease were only just true positive so positive predictive value will be true positive upon true positive plus false positive so quick mnemonic with all the p's will be together here and now negative predictive value is ability of screening test to correctly identify all those who didn't have the disease out of those who tested negative on screening test so negative predictive value will be true negative they in reality didn't have the disease and all those who tested negative were true negative plus false negative so all the ends will stay together so these were the formulas now now sometimes they give a graph based question like this black graph is for normal population and this red one is for diseased population and suppose the cut off was 100 to label someone as diseased so this side of the graph is false positive because the people are healthy but they tested positive due to the cut off and this side they are false negative because the people were diseased but they tested negative due to the cut off now what if we increase the cut off suppose from 100 to 110 now what will happen false positive result will decrease but false negative ones will increase now if the cut off decreases then what will happen false positive will increase healthy people will start to Be, uh, start testing positive but false negative ones will decrease so 
this type of questions are asked now next let's talk about lead time and screening time so uh, you are given uh, this type of question like uh, this is point a this is point b this is c and this is d a point is for onset of disease b is the earliest point of diagnosis where you can diagnose a disease c is the final critical time and d is the usual time of diagnosis now what is lead time uh, they'll give you like a blank space and you have to identify what is the lead time and screening time so lead time is first possible time of diagnosis to usual point of diagnosis so from b to d you label it as lead time and what is screening time screening time is ki from b to c earliest point of diagnosis to final critical point of diagnosis so this is the last point after which there is no improvement in prognosis so you label b to c as screening time so this is one of the previous year questions now let's talk about perspective versus prospective screening so perspective is people are screened for their own benefit it is a secondary type like for it is just for case detection and treatment there is no special request for screening so like it is uh, examples are like neonatal screening or pap smear or urine for sugar prospective you can remember for prospect of others like for others benefit it is a primary type for disease control there is a specific request from authority like screening for immigrants screening of immigrants so this question can be asked next is pre test probability versus post test probability so what is pre test probability it is probability of testing of having the disease before doing the test that you have the disease before you do the test the probability that you have and what is post test probability it is probability of having the disease if you are tested positive for that disease so you can just learn this definition now one of the questions they ask is what if prevalence increase or prevalence decrease remember if prevalence increase positive predictive value will increase negative predictive value will decrease p will go with p so if it increase it pb will also increase but negative predictive value will decrease but sensitivity and specificity will remain constant and if prevalence decrease sensitivity specificity will remain constant but positive predictive value decreases and negative predictive value increases now let's talk about test in series and test in parallel uh, one of the previous year questions so what is test in series you do test one after the other and test in parallel is you do test at the same time so now uh, they ask like what will happen to sensitivity or positive predictive value if the test is done in series or parallel so remember series parallel sensitivity specificity positive predictive value negative predictive value so in series all the ends will decrease so sensitivity will decrease negative predictive value will decrease but all the p's specificity and positive predictive value will increase it is a quick mnemonic for that and in parallel all the p's will decrease so specificity and positive predictive value will decrease and uh, negative predictive value and sensitivity will increase so you can learn this it is frequently asked in previous year questions so that's all for today thanks for watching kindly like share and subscribe